Hi everyone, it's Laura with Esporn Books and More. Uh, I'm so excited to show you today some of our nonfiction books. Usborn is the leader in nonfiction, and that is the reason why I fell in love with Usborn in the first place. So I cannot wait to show you some of my favorites. I have so many to show you, so I'm going to breeze through them. Let me know if you need more information on any anything specific. So I just want to start with our pocket books. These are so cool. So these are just five dollars. So, such a good price, and they are just full of information about all kinds of. This one's on mammals. It's got facts about where they live, how big they are, uh, their predators, their lifespan, all kinds. Children just eat these up. Okay, and then along, kind of along those lines, we have our beginner series. So here are just a few, but we have tons of these. There's like 30 or 40 or something like that in the collection. So they've got a, well, in this series, there is a table of contents. And then also a glossary in the back. So this really is teaching children how nonfictional books work. Um, and it just has a ton of great info, beautiful pictures. There's also a new series that just came out. Uh, the first two are Baby Animals and Flowers. And this is a Young Beginners. So in these, um, they're just like the beginners. They don't have the table of contents. They're just a lot simpler for those first readers really learning about nonfiction, all kinds of different fun things to learn. Okay, um, my the next I want to show you are, I am in love with these big books. Big Book of Big Machines. There are a whole bunch of these. So I've got a few here. Big Book of Big Machines, Big Book of Big Animals, Big Trucks. Big monsters. This one's full of all kinds of mythical creatures, legends, all kind of things like that. So fun. Um, and then that brand new one that just came out, Big Book of the Body. And these ones, what makes these ones so unique is they've got thick cardboard pages and they fold out. How cool! Look at this side. And there's tons of great information to learn on there. See, we've also got uh, tractors, trains, dinosaurs, stars and planets, rocket ships. Love these. Check them out for sure. I'll just show you a couple pages from Big Machines. This one is a big hit with those truck lovers. My two-year-old is a huge truck lover and loves these. So cool. Okay, we have got some awesome encyclopedias. This children's encyclopedia, oh, is one of my favorites. It is amazing. So it's got beautiful, bright illustrations. Gorgeous. It really sucks you in with the beautiful illustrations. And then children can really choose how much they want to read and learn about something. If there's something they read about that's so interesting, these are actually internet linked, so um, there's a Q QR code on every page that takes you to safe, reliable, good websites where they can learn more, they can watch videos, all get all kinds of information. Another cool thing about these is if there's a if you can find a little asterisk next to a picture, you can actually download that picture. How cool for the science projects, school projects. How cool is that? See that little asterisk? You can download those pictures directly from the website. So cool. Check out that children's encyclopedia. We also have some other encyclopedias that are a little more intense. This is the geography encyclopedia, so this whole thing is geography. We also have science and history, so it's just a little bit more in depth. This is also internet linked as well. Just a little more info. And then along the lines of the encyclopedia, we have World of Animals, and there's a few others like this as well. It's kind of like an encyclopedia. Gorgeous. Gorgeous pictures. Also internet linked. And then this one also has this has first encyclopedias. This one's about science. So they're a little bit smaller. A little easier to take in. Um, a lot of this information is in this encyclopedia. So if you get this one, you wouldn't need this one as well. But this is just um, just a smaller portion of it. Okay, so moving on, we have amazing flat books, a few different levels. 
So we've got the peak inside, which is more like toddler age. So I'll just show you, here's a few. I've got gardens, dinosaurs, animal homes, and farm. So I'll just take it inside, perfect for little toddlers, nice thick pages, just to really start learning about all kinds of different things. This one's about the farm and animals on the farm. But it's so fun that children are engaged as they're lifting the flap and learning more and really participating in, the, in their reading experience. So a step up from that is the Look Inside series. There's, I've got airport here, space, mummies and pyramids, and castle. Um, there's obviously more than this as well, but this one, Look Inside an Airport. I think everyone, every child should have this. It's gonna go on a trip. What an awesome prep to ride on an airplane and even to take on the airplane with you. It talks about checking your bags and the x-ray machine and there's flaps and flaps and flaps and flaps but it goes through the entire experience preparing the plane carrying cargo taking off how do planes take off so cool such cool information so we've, that's the look inside series and then our more advanced is the see inside series so here's a few from that how things work see inside your body computers and coding times tables so just taking you inside so you can see what it's like so as you can see this one's a little bit more advanced but still uh, manageable info so they can children can really take it in as they want and as they need it and get in Get engaged with the picture and learn more and lift the flaps. Great for those kinesthetic learners. And really all children learn by doing. So how fun is that that they can, oh, I love this part. You can learn about the plumbing in your home and how the water works. I learn a ton from these. My husband and I sometimes read them ourselves at bedtime. It's like we want to keep reading more ourselves. Um, in that same series, well, this lift the flaps times tables. This is such an amazing resource. How fun is this to practice and learn times tables rather than just from a worksheet, but instead you're actually engaged in answering questions and learning about how, to, learning different tricks about times tables. These are all tiny little flaps. Love, love this. And there's a wheel at the end to practice as well. How fun. Love this. Such a great resource. So even though, um, even though these are for different ages, the peek inside, look inside, see inside. Well, I guess I'll show you. We'll see inside. This is about toddler age, about maybe four or five and up, and then maybe seven and up. Even though that's what those are recommended for, my two-year-old loves all of these. So just keep that in mind. You can always introduce them to them as you think they're ready or just to take in a little bit at a time. Okay, so we also have lift the flap questions and answers. So this is a general lift the flap questions and answers, but there's also your body, dinosaurs, the world. So just showing you how that is, how that works. Just so fun. They they at, read a question and lift the flap to answer or to get the answer. And then we also have a new series that's first questions and answers. This one is one of our brand new ones, all about the weather. It's a little bit simpler, but again, great info. How fun, engaging, answering all those questions. Okay, so we've got some really cool, this is Story of Inventions, but there's some others that came out, Story of Science. I'll just show you a little bit inside there. You can just read this forever and learn about different things. 100 things to know about science. My two-year-old picked this book off the shelf and we learned, he learned about what narwhals are. Narwhals, my two-year-old, he's obsessed with narwhals because of this book. It's just full of fun science facts. Awesome, so great. Um, we also have some great homework helper resources. This is a first illustrated math dictionary. Um, the regular math Diction the regular illustrated math dictionary goes all the way up to college math. What a great resource. We can always use more resources to help our kiddos with that stuff. 
Okay, a couple more I want to show you. My very first space book. It's got thick cardboard pages. There's also castles and a brand new dinosaurs one. Tons of great info in there. Big book of colors! It's got a color wheel in the front. See how colors coordinate and match. Beautiful two page spreads. Okay, I'm gonna flip in the very back, my favorite part. You learn about mixing colors. And then look, there's a transparent page. Oh my gosh, how cool to actually practice and see what how they mix together. We have tons of art books. I can't even get into this. But look, lift the flop art, you guys. Lift the flop art. How cool is this? Look. I just, how cool to learn about famous works of art. There's a wheel as well. Art Treasury. This one here is one of my favorites. Well, I have so many favorites. But it will show you a famous painting, sculpture, work of art. And then you get to practice a technique that is inspired by that artist's work. So cool. Not just paintings, but there's also sculptures and spin art. And my very first art, which is similar to Art Treasury, um, but think Art Treasury, but for younger kiddos. So there you have it. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions.